Hello everyone. I have a simple, easy project for you guys today. I'm in one of those, I hit a wall. <laughs> so I'm taking some old classics and just kind of revamping them, um, especially with, you know, some of those strips that we still have. We are really enjoying, I feel like, getting rid of our bins and it's kind of this transition with the spring paper into summer so um, I'm on the tail end of my spring so I'm just kind of finding things with my leftover sheets so here I have this adorable and it could be like a card and a tea holder at the same time um, and you can just see I just really vamped it up to make it look really pretty and you have a pocket over here and then um, this one so I've sized this for tea um, and I size this one because I thought this would be an adorable bookmark holder. So you know those like bookmarks we made? So it like holds this perfect with a 6 by 12 sheet. And again, they have the pocket here and then you have a pocket in the back. I just didn't stick anything in it. And um, depending how you cut your paper is how deep your, or not, sorry, we're not cutting. However you fold your paper is going to be how kind of deep your pocket's going to be. So you can see I kind of folded this more, this one a little less. Um, this one I made a little distressed for those who kind of like that vintage look. And I added a little uh, eyelet in here with the bungee. And then this one I just kind of left and decorated it. But you can just see all the fun little options you have with your scrap um, or your leftover sheets. So um, again, you don't have to do my measurement. You can just take your scraps and do this, but I'm gonna give you my measurement just in case you like my sizing. So this is a six by six and a quarter paper. And um, basically we're just going to fold it. Okay, and I'm just seeing which side of my um, paper I went up um, so I'm gonna fold that and then this one is all preference you can go as low as you want high as you want it's just how deep you want your kind of pocket to be I'm just gonna fold this and there's no right or wrong when doing this it's really just gonna be <clears throat> what your pocket look like or looks like so if you want and you want a pretty effect you could always fold your page down like that and have it look really pretty or even like kind of um, I'll show you with the next one a different look um, but and then fold it but for mine I'm gonna go ahead and tuck these in instead and really just kind of you know make that crease go down nicely and then I'm going to fold it and as simple as that, we have our little cute tea pockets, okay, with the sizing. And you can see I just dress it up. So here you can like glue this down if you want, this edge right here. I just kind of left mine, because unless they're like opening it, um, but you can just maybe even glue in here. I just, again, I left it because I feel like this, the fold's pretty solid, but if I was giving it to someone and didn't want it ruined, I would probably change that <laughs> so um and then just to make it pretty i where is my why do i always do this i put my tape away right before i'm filming because i'm trying to clear off my desk and then i realize that i need it where i'm filming so okay sorry i had to shake that um and then i did my little trick right here with the tape for any newbie right here And I just kind of measure that. So I do have a tutorial coming that was a, a um, it was a, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> when, I am drawing a blank, when someone requests something, it was a request. Um, and it's actually a really good tutorial and I'm really excited to do it. I just haven't sat down to do it yet, but I think you guys are gonna really like it. It was an adorable suggestion. So, okay, here is that, my little trick, and just putting the glitter down on it. This is for any newbies. I know my older viewers already know what I'm doing. And that's just that little trick. And I actually would prefer this a little thinner with thinner double-sided tape 
But unfortunately, I'm out and I have so much tape, I don't want to order it until I have to like restock. So um, that's just that. And hmm, I had some really adorable dyes and things with it, but I am just a mess today. So anyway, I guess I'll just have to find what's on my desk. Um, just kind of pop that on. Actually, I'm gonna grab a sticker. So I think that's what I did with this one. I just put a sticker on here first and I kind of decorated it with that glitter glue. And I feel like that's gonna be too big. So maybe I'll do something. No, I guess I'll just do it. So I'm going to take some foam tape, some double-sided foam tape, and just stick it on here. And I'm covering the lettering, but that's all right. So there is that. And then if you want it to look not so square, you can corner around it. And I don't know when I'm gonna ever order another quarter rounder so I can fix that. So you can do the bottom too, but you don't wanna probably do it closed because it'll probably mess up. So you can kind of just open it up and do it. And then you have your pocket in the back too. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with doing this again, And but um, you get the idea. And then if you would like, you can distress it um, kind of like this one, or you can add your little um, brads in here which we can see how this one looks. This one's the more plain one, but I just used my small part of my eyelet here. And these mini ones, again, I got these at Hobby Lobby. I am sure that they probably still have them. I've had this thing forever, so I don't know. I never look. And honestly, I don't really go to Hobby Lobby that much anymore because in Atlanta, it was down the street from me. And here, I actually have to drive like seven miles for it, which I know some of you live in rural areas, so that's nothing for you guys. But for me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'll just um, hold off until I really need to go. I'm gonna put this one in the back. But I mean, it's so sweet, just you know, for a little scrap that we have, or you could probably even take your six by six paper pads, um, but it will be super teeny. And I think this would be great for six and a half by six too. So I just wanted to see how that looked kind of with the gold and the gold. Not my best knot, but Anyways, there's that. And then you just grab your little T thing in here and you just stuff it in there. But it fits perfect. But I do think it could be six and a half. I think that would work great. All right, so let's do the other one, which is the bookmark holder. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm making a mess over here. So for the bookmark one, I used a 6x12 paper. Now we all have lots of 6x12s, right? <laughs> Just like sitting there because we've used it on a different project. Um, so I want this to be my outside because the inside is super busy. And I'm just gonna fold it in half the long way. So whatever long way you have, just kind of do. And this is great because we don't have to score anything. We're literally just finding these sheets and doing it. And then we're just gonna fold that down. So you can do it at the same time and just however you, deep you want it further, you can put it further, but this probably isn't gonna go too much folder because this is our longer because it's too, uh, oh, I wanted to show you the thing. So I was gonna say, the other trick was you kind of like round it off. So if you're leaving it like this, it kind of has that pretty little puff look to it. If that makes sense, like when you fold it, it'll look like that but I like it just kind of flat, especially if you're doing flat mail. And again, I'm gonna tuck mine in. And this one I'll do the inking on because I already did the glitter strip. So let's just see how this one looks with the ink. And if you wanna glue it, you can. If you wanna glue that, you can. I'm just skipping all that and just kind of 
doing this. But this isn't a bad project for something just kind of quick, right? And just relaxing, no measuring, stress-free. Not that crafting is stressful, but it can be. When you get really into a project and you want to finish it, you're like, like I get, um, sometimes I get a headache. <laughs> I get a headache because I'm so excited and I just keep going. It's very strange. I, I don't know if it's a stress headache or an excited headache. Is that weird? All right, so I did that. And let me just kind of ink this a little bit. Just to give it a different look, I guess. A little vintagey look. Like I did that first one. And I'm not going to put any um, glitter strip on it. So you can see how it looks. Especially <clears throat> maybe if you don't have glitter, which <clears throat> I don't know many crafters that don't have glitter in their uh, stash. But you never know. Okay. And you could also even stack these up and make a really adorable, like if you're doing a tea swap and you stack these, how adorable would it be just to keep going and going and have all these cute little tuck-ins um, that way. I'm sorry if you guys hear my neighbor, like he's cutting the grass on and off. He's usually not home, I don't think, during the day and the weekday, but today's the day when I'm filming. <laughs> All right, and that looks really nice. I didn't do the back yet. You can see, and I think just remember not to <clears throat> glue this down before you, if you're inking. So, oh, I was gonna say, if you would like, you can also like <clears throat> make a little notebook out of this. Like if you're doing craft fair or something, you could put like a bunch of pages in here and like staple it or even like a cute adorable like travel notebook or insert it, these in your journal but how sweet would it be like if you're binding and there's these cute little tuck-in spots so I'm just gonna put a tag in here and obviously you can make this a much wider so you have more room and stuff like that so that is too white for that now so I'm gonna dab this so it kind of blends in with it a little bit I feel like it needs to be just blotted and I've got some of these kind of sitting here so I'm gonna use these two because they look too cream See, and as you notice, I've had the ink on my desk. I haven't taken it off, and it's just one of those supplies that are still sitting on my desk. <laughs> so I keep using it. I'm telling you, that's the trick. Keep it on your desk, and you're going to keep using it. Hmm. I really like this vintage look. It looks really nice. <clears throat> I'm going to put that on there. Again, I'm using the double-sided tape on the back, the foam tape, because I want it to just be up just a little bit. And yeah, I really like that one. That one came out really nice. And then the back, if you want to decorate. I had some lettering here, so I don't think I'm going to use that. But... Oh, shoot. I almost, I just spilled glitter all over my desk. That paper I was using <clears throat> just tipped over. So happy for you. This is great for money, too, if you are gifting or even, um, like, it's kind of like a cute little wallet. And I almost made a little latch to go on it, but I didn't. So, in, anyways, what I ended up doing was using the Velcro strips. Or nut strips, circles. And I think those are my last ones too. I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and I didn't get any. I just completely forgot. So for this one, I did glue it down on the side because this one's longer. So is my glue going to come out? Oh, yep, I sure did. So right here, I just add a little bit of glue. 
just a tiny bit. And you can do the same thing on this side too. And I just didn't decorate the back because I don't know it's the back, but I'm just kind of more focusing on the front. So anywho, here they are. So simple, a really simple, just like oldie goodie, but just kind of revamped. And I just love how they came out. And don't forget to add, you know, some of the detail if you want to really make this come out a little bit more. Um, this one kind of looks old, but I should have just done that. Maybe I'll just do it for you guys so you guys can see how it looks if you want to just kind of vamp it up a little bit. I'm just going to do the darker areas and see how they look. Yeah, that was a nice little touch that really just made it a little bit more fancier. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll be back with another tutorial soon.